வணக்கம் வெல்கம் டு திஸ் வீடியோ ஆன் பயோமெக்கானிக்ஸ் வி ஹவ் பின் லுக்கிங் அட் கைனமேட்டிக்ஸ் ஸ்பெசிஃபிகலி இந்த ப்ரீவியஸ் வீடியோ வி லுக் அட் ஃபார்வர்ட் கைனமேட்டிக்ஸ் ஆஃப் அ டூ லிங்க் சீரியல் கைனமேட்டிக் சேஞ்ச் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி வில் பி லுக்கிங் அட் டூ ஆர் இன்வர்ஸ் கைனமேட்டிக்ஸ் ஆர் இன் அதர் வேர்ட்ஸ் இஃப் ஐ டெல் யூ the end point coordinates of a two link serial kinematic chain and the link lengths can you tell me what is the joint angle at each of the links this is the question broad big question it's a two link chain planar chain no complications not three link not n link there are exactly two links there are two links and i'm telling you the link lengths and i'm telling you the end point coordinate what is asked can you compute the individual joint angles that each of this link makes with the ground this is the question okay so what we know from forward kinematics is uh, suppose i have i have these two links with lengths l1 and l2 okay if i were to express the coordinates of the end points we did that in the previous case as x is l1 cos theta1 plus l2 cos theta1 plus theta2 and y is l1 sin theta1 plus l2 sin of theta1 plus theta2 this is what we saw for convenience i am going to call c1 as cos theta1 c12 as cos of theta1 plus theta2 s1 as sin theta 1 s12 as sin of theta 1 plus theta 2 okay so that means i am going to call this as l1 c1 plus l2 c12 and why is l1 s1 plus l2 s12 okay no hmm so the equations that i have are let's write this out again x is equal to let me erase this for convenience so i'm going to erase this i have already written this down so i'm going to erase this x is equal to l1 c1 plus l2 c12 and y is equal to l1 s1 plus l2 s12 okay now what i'm doing i am going to rearrange this equation slightly okay i am going to write it such that the c1 and s1 comes to the left hand side that is x is equal to sorry x minus l1 c1 is equal to l2 c12 and y minus l1 s1 this is l2 s12 now i want to square these two equations you are immediately wondering what is this person doing why is he doing all these things because i am interested in getting rid of uh, you know many complications there are theta 1 plus theta 2 so i am trying to have thetas theta 1 and theta 2 in my equations or first i find theta 1 which i will then substitute in the theta 1 plus theta 2 equation to find theta 2 because i am interested in finding theta 1 and theta 2 from l1 l2 x y okay so that is the problem so i'm having this in my head and i'm working towards that this is why i'm doing some manipulation some arrangements con- consistent with normal laws of algebra so no uh, cheating i'm just doing whatever uh, algebraic manipulations that are valid 
So, I am having this as x minus L1 C1 is L2 C12 and y minus L1 S1 is L2 S12. I am squaring this on both sides. So, this will give me x minus L1 C1 the whole squared is L2 C12 the whole square is it not. Likewise, y minus L1 S1 the whole squared is L2 S12 the whole square. I am adding these two why because L2 C12 squared plus L2 S12 squared right. So, this will give me L2 squared times C12 squared plus S12 squared this is sin, sin squared A plus cos squared A or sin squared x plus cos squared x that is 1 ok. So, I can use that as part of my uh, analysis ok. So, I am adding these two equations ok. What will I get? I will get x minus L1 C1 the whole squared plus y minus L1 S1 the whole squared is L2 squared into C12 squared plus S12 squared. But uh, C12 squared plus S12 squared is 1. So, I will get this to be 1 or rather this whole left hand side is equal to L2 squared ok. But not just that I also have to expand the squares on the left hand side which I will do step by step ok. So, I am having this is a minus b the whole squared that would be actually a squared plus l 1 squared c 1 squared b squared minus 2 times a into b is it not. Likewise for the y coordinate y squared plus l 1 squared s 1 squared minus 2 times a b remember in this case a is y b is l 1 s 1 ok. This whole thing is l 2 squared and I am bringing the l 2 squared to the left hand side which will make it minus l 2 squared is 0 this is the equation. Now, I have l 1 squared s 1 squared plus l 1 squared c 1 squared I can bring the 2. So, that would be x squared minus 2 x 1 sorry minus 2 x l 1 c 1 plus y squared minus 2 y l 1 s 1 minus l 2 squared plus l 1 squared into c 1 squared plus s 1 squared this is the do I have the same number of uh, terms check 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 correct this whole thing is 0. Now, c 1 squared plus s 1 squared is 1 because of this this whole thing will vanish to 1. So, I will have only l 1 squared. Now, rearrange this slightly and multiply this whole equation by minus 1 ok. Just for convenience I have this as 2 x l 1 c 1 plus 2 y l 1 s 1 plus l 2 squared minus x squared minus y squared here we have left out a y squared here ok. Minus y squared minus l 1 squared is equal to 0. Now, I am going to call this coefficient as some say capital A and this coefficient as some capital B 
and this whole constant as some capital C. So, this can be called as A C 1 plus B S 1 plus capital C is 0. This is the equation that I have in terms of theta 1, in terms of theta 1 that I need to solve because this is C 1 and S 1 right that is cos of theta 1 and sin of theta 1 I have in terms of this. Now, let us proceed in the next slide. Now, let us rewrite that uh, original equation which is uh, A C 1 plus B S 1 plus capital C is 0. Right? Now, this is the equation that we have. Now, divide this uh, entire equation by square root of capital A squared plus B squared. What happens? That will give me capital A divided by square root of capital A squared plus B squared times C 1 plus capital B divided by square root of A squared plus B squared times S 1 plus capital C divided by square root of capital A squared plus B squared the whole thing is 0. Remember in this equation I have this right triangle with sides A and B capital A and capital B with some side psi. Right. So, this is the situation that I am describing. Right. Now, immediately in this uh, from this uh, right triangle A divided by square root of A squared B squared is cosine of psi is it not that is cos psi or in our notation that is C psi C 1 plus B divided by B is the opposite side to the angle psi B divided by the square root of a squared plus b squared is the sin of psi that, not? that is s psi s 1 and this whole thing is minus c divided by a squared plus b squared ok c psi c 1 plus s psi s 1 this formula looks somewhat familiar is it not that is sin a sin b plus cos a cos b is cos of a minus b is it not. So, that would give me cos of theta 1 minus psi is this value minus c divided by square root of a square plus b square. Okay. Now, psi itself is what the opposite side by adjacent side is it not that is tan inverse of b by a ok. So, if I want theta 1 if I want theta 1 I will get it as tan inverse of b by a plus cos inverse of minus c divided by square root of a squared plus b squared ok. This is the value of the first angle theta 1. Now, I need to substitute this angle in the original forward kinematics equation which is you know this equation for example and find out the value of theta 2 and you will get I will leave that as an exercise for you and you will get theta 2 as cos inverse of x minus L 1 cos theta 1 divided by L 2 the whole thing minus theta 1 this is the value of theta 2. This will give rise to a situation in which there are at least 
two configurations a b and b p that can come either as this solid lines or as this dash lines. So, there are two distinct pairs of solutions or two sets of theta 1 and theta 2 from the inverse kinematics problem that we are showing here as the solid brown blue line and the dashed brown and blue lines. These two solutions are also called as the two branches of the inverse kinematics problem or two branches of the inverse kinematics solution commonly in robotics and biomechanics they are called as the elbow up solution and the elbow down solution. So, from this exercise what we have learned is that even in the simplest case of a two link planar kinematic chain the inverse kinematics is relatively complicated that even in the case where the two link links are given and the two coordinates are given the x y coordinates are given and the links links l 1 and l 2 are given the theta 1 and theta 2 are not unique there are at least two sets in the case of the two link chain there are two sets of solutions means because why is this happening because of the non-linear nature of the kinematic chain or the way in which we describe this kinematic chain because of the sines and cosines involved sine inverse and co cosine inverse right can refer to two different angles right. because of this reason we have at least two solutions that will satisfy a given equation this is for the simplest case. Now, imagine I have a large number of degrees of freedom many link multi link serial kinematic chain then finding the inverse kinematics is a relatively hard problem to crack this is just an introduction to the topic. So, you get an idea of the complexities involved in the biomechanical analysis of multi link serial kinematic chains. So, with this we come to the end of this video in this video we studied and analyzed the inverse kinematics of a two link planar kinematic chain. Thank you very much for your attention.